going to show some of the new capability in and route in terms of the handling label printing in the automatic toolpath function. So just uh, as an example, the first thing that I'm going to do here is get in and process a job. So I pretty much have it already set up. I've got a, a job here with 22 parts and I've defined the ordering and the nesting and all that stuff and, and uh, have the layers defined. So I'm set up there. I've also got the label design that I'm going to use. I've created a 4 inch by 2 inch label that matches a particular Avery number and have that set up in my format name also. Uh, and so when I process files I'm going to create output and create label output. Uh, so let's process the job. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the job here, make sure it did what I wanted it to. Created three layers, which means it created three uh, different sets of labels to go on the parts. It has routing offsets and female offsets and fills and all that sort of thing. So, so that's the job that got processed. And so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start a new application called Label Printer and it's it's a sort of a companion application to uh, our typical label maker application um, but this one provides uh, quite a bit more control over what prints and, and also allows you to view the labels before you print them out and so I'm gonna go choose uh, one of the files here so what this does is it is it gives me a preview of the sheet of labels that I'm planning to print here and I can I can actually once I'm in a folder I can page through the different uh, sheets from my job and look at the labels and and once I'm in a sheet then it gives me the opportunity when I move my mouse over the the label what it does down here is it gives me a preview of the label and then also a preview of the part and then the information that it shows you is the the part name and the and the position of the part on the sheet and so this is a, a nice way to just ensure that your labels are created correctly and it also gives you control over printing them so I can come down here and select all of them for printing and that's fine then when I click on print selected I get another dialog that shows me the sheets of the labels that I'm printing and so I can show the sheet here just to make sure things are laid out properly. Um, now what's cool about this of course is is let's say I for whatever reason I, I have um, three labels that I want to print that didn't print correctly or got messed up when they were put on the part or for whatever reason I had to recut out a part or whatever and so I've got three labels that I want to print out. So now when I go to print, those those labels show up. And if I've already partially printed a sheet, I can actually move the labels around onto the sheet of labels to uh, select where I want that to print. And so that gives me control then over over printing on particularly on eight and a half by eleven sheets of labels where maybe I've got uh, on a particular sheet I've got a couple of labels left over that I don't want to waste so it lets me choose then where those print on the sheet so that then I can print them out uh, carefully and and by position so so now that's the label printer application which gives me uh, previews of the labels gives me the option of choosing which labels print and which labels don't uh, gives me a preview of the part the name of the part and just gives me a, a better idea of what the labels are going to be when they print out so that if there's something that's not to my liking I have a chance to take care of that before I print the labels out and I have control over how the labels print on the sheet so that if I have some labels left over on a particular sheet I can take advantage of those and and print those out specifically so anyway that's the new label printer application 
uh, to as a companion application with the automatic toolpath function in and route.